But this is the brownish um, looking water from the um, river. Perhaps some residents who've been speaking to here um, say that was not the case previously. They talked about the presence of aquatic life and how they were able to use um, this water for their domestic chores. That is not the case any longer. Previously, this water was looking so good. To the same, quite three years ago, it was looking so good. We used to come and bath. We need to do a lot of things with it. Like we used to come and bath, even if fish is in the water. Sometimes you can see fish in the water. But when this government said you want to put a stop this gram say mm. it even worsened the color of this water mm. and as at now no you don't do anything with it if you try to bath with it then you see some rashes skin rashes over all your body so we are we are suffering even getting water to drink nowadays is so quite difficult for us we bath we used to bath mm. we drink we we do a lot of things here mm. at first mm. but now this even this water when you, when you come, when you bath this water, mm. sometimes you get a uh, disease, a sick, a, what do you call it? Mm. Seeking rashes. Well, the National Democratic Congress at a press conference on the banks of the River Proud today is saying that it is getting ready to petition the United Nations to revoke the position of President Tikufuado as the UN co chair of the SDG. They say that appointment has to be revoked because President Okufuado has not shown enough commitment to combat illegal mining, popularly known as Kalamse. We shall petition the UN Secretary General, Antonio Guterres, to revoke the appointment of President Okufuado as co-chair of the SDG Advocates. And that petition will be ready by Tuesday. Because clearly, President Akufuado has failed to show genuine commitment to the fight against illegal mining and the protection of our environment in his own backyard. His corrupt government has become an active enabler and promoter of Galamse and the destruction of the environment in a way that affronts the sustainable development goals of the United Nations. He is a bad example, not worthy for emulation. He has proven to be unfit for the prestigious position of co-chair of the UN SDGs advocates, for which reason he must be removed without delay. We will not call on him to resign because we know that as for President Ekufuado, the word resignation does not exist in his dictionary. The National Democratic Congress is also demanding a public exhibition of all excavators, mining equipment, and weapons seized from illegal miners. They say it is very important for transparency. Here, those of you who may not understand what an excavator is, we are talking about caterpillar. <laughs> Maybe that will help you understand that a total of 2,779 weapons and ammunition have been seized from illegal miners. And 4,045 other mining equipment confiscated from illegal miners have also been seized. We are demanding that government accounts for all these seized items. And also, in the spirit of transparency and to the benefit of Ghanaians, hold a public exhibition of these seized items. The party says it is aware of a petition that will soon get to the special prosecutor to investigate uh, members of the incumbent government who are neck deep and complicit in the illegal mining business. The NDC says it fully supports that petition. We are aware that the special prosecutor will soon be petitioned to investigate the latest revelations of TV and corruption that have characterize the Kufuado's fraudulent Galamse fight. The NDC wholeheartedly support that petition and wish to call on the Special Prosecutor, Mr. ABK Amidu, to act swiftly this time around. His lackadaisical attitude on the Anas Galamse fraud documentary has not helped because we know that Anas petitioned his office about a year ago.